hello in this tutorial we are going to find out reinforcement here in slab for underground septic tank okay so we have detail over here we have main and the distribution bars over here you can see and uh, uh, the detail as number three bar is using over here for the main bar and the distribution bar as well and the spacing is six inch center to center let's move forward and let's go here in the plan and see what are the details over here uh, we have basically this is a main bar cutting length will go up to this position uh, on these walls as well it will go but we, we have span into in span okay means we will place this bar up to this position and we will place this bar up till this position okay while pouring the concrete we need to pour up till this position definitely but uh, we have you can see these wall uh, sorry these reinforcement for the wall up till this position we need to pour and while we'll do the uh, form work up to this position okay need the sides okay already we have over here uh, in term of uh, we have wall over here so we'll pour the concrete up to this position but we need to place the steel up till this position you can see in the distribution bars as well okay up till this position so it is very important to understand so there is no any concrete cover over here as i want to say over here we we need to take whole dimension over here in order to find out number of bars okay so let's go here this is basically slab and we have main in the distribution bar so uh, what i'll do i'll simply go here and uh, okay number eight underground uh, water tank slab this is what rc slab okay and uh, length and the breadth we will take what we will take out to our dimension but remember one thing while finding uh, the number of bars we need to take into in dimension because this is basically the span where we need to place the steel okay so out of dimension we now length is 11.5 feet and, uh, and breadth is 9.5 feet 11.5 we now already it is 138 and uh, 9.5 9.5 5 multiplied with 12 138 and double one four 138 and double one four oh, okay and a breadth is a double one four and height or thickness of the uh, slab is six inch okay and we have main bars okay and spacing let's talk about the spacing over here three number six inch and center okay three number six inch center to center is the spacing and uh, for this one for slab we will have the bend as well okay bend base slab 9d is the bend we are using over here so for shape what we need to do is we need to create the shape over here definitely okay so i'll go here okay i'll create a shape like this sorry not here but i want to create it over here like this okay and uh, we have two bends uh, as a bend detection 90 degree bends are over here this one and this one and we want to detect this one uh, and definitely 2 into 2d okay so i'll copy the formula i'll paste it over here okay next to it uh, development length or the bend length is equal to uh, we have 9 into d dia bar divided by 8 9 d is this one okay and next to it uh, what we need to do is we need to add here the dia bar 3 number we are using over here okay remember this one double this double click over here and here i want to copy this format okay and a concrete cover here in slab and in overall water tank i'm using one inch as concrete cover okay and uh, this is for overall water tank or septic tank so i'll use here one and a number of bars 
so if you want to find out the number of bars it is span divided by spacing plus one so these are main bars this is the span okay right from this position up till here we have add here the total length but we need to detect this thickness okay and, and this thickness of wall in order to find out this pin so let me just show you how we can find out the number of bars equal to length is the total span okay minus 9 inch minus 9 inch from both ends okay there is no need to just detect the concrete cover but we need to detect the walls 9 inch minus 9 inch span divided by spacing okay so spacing is 6 inch center to center and plus 1 will give us the total number of bars okay that are 21 bars we need over here multiply by number of members as 1 because we have only one slab and equal to total numbers will be equal to number of bars multiplied by number of members so it is total of 21 okay uh, then next to it uh, we need to find out this one as well equal to this and equal to this okay this is 3.375 okay don't you can see over 3.375 so let me just go here okay and uh, for this length okay for this length we need to take the whole breadth minus concrete cover okay equal to whole breadth that is this one minus concrete cover from both ends hit enter so this is double one two move it toward this direction and then here okay so let's find out the total length over here and the total length will be equal to cut length minus bend detection okay will give us equal to uh, this one plus this one plus this one minus we need to do the bend detection where it is this one we need to do the bend detection multiply by we have uh, total numbers divided by 12 in order to go here 205.1875 for the main bar okay now number 9 and we will find out for the distribution bar as well number 9 copy this data paste it over here no problem okay size is same for the uh, slab paste it over here no problem and these are the distribution bars this okay distribution bars same 6 inch center to center and shape will also be same okay okay no problem and bends we have two so same goes here as well for the distribution bars okay and a bend length will also be same okay because dia dia is also same so that's why everything will be same okay and then concrete cover one inch number of bars okay so we need to find out number of bars okay in order to find out number of bars we have this pin right from this position into in dimension i'm talking about so it will be what number of bars equal to this is breadth okay sorry this is breadth minus walls from both ends okay this is basically the span divided by spacing okay plus one so we need total of 17 bars over here multiply by number of members as one and the total numbers will be equal to copy and paste this formula over here okay 17 and next to it we need to find out this horizontal and this bend says will bend we know it is same 3.4 equal to this one and for base we need this length right from this position and then we need to detect concrete cover from both ends okay so equal to the total length this one minus concrete cover at both ends hit enter so this is basically 136 okay now we need to find out the total length 
copy this one this formula and paste it over here and uh, okay cut length this one plus this one plus this one minus concrete cover uh, sorry minus bend deductions okay multiply by total number of bars divided by 12 will give us what the total length is 200.104 and uh, we have here okay you can see 975.49 okay four number of bars we need over here in kg this is in ton and 68 kg uh, for the three number of bars this is only for the slab okay so we can find out all of the bbs for and this underground septic tank and this is how we can find out bbs for the septic tank hope you really understand the process i'll see you in the next